A popular Philippine social media star best known for her Bella Porsche TikTok account where she posts comedy lip-sync videos often about gaming. A Filipina TikTok star has received criticisms from Korean netizens that is triggering backlash from international netizens. Her videos have earned over 16.4 million followers on the app. She launched her TikTok account in April 2020. She has accumulated over 2.2 million followers on her Bella.Porsche Instagram account. In a recent video, Porsche posted a video of her dancing on TikTok where the tattoos was spotted. A tattoos that incorporates Japan's rising sun flag can be seen on her arm. This flag is associated with Japanese imperialism as well as Japan's action in World War II. It remains particularly offensive in South Korea due to imperial Japan's treatment of Korea while the country was under its colonial rule. According to her, her tattoo is inspired by Jean Aiko. As a consequence, South Korean TikTokers have slammed the 19-year-old who serve in the U.S. Navy, accusing her of being ignorant of their history. They also restored to name-calling, with some saying, Filipinos are poor country, non-educated people, short people. While Porsche was born in the Philippines, her family immigrated to the United States when she was 13 years old. Her TikTok profile proudly displays the Philippine flag. Naturally, Pinoy's on Twitter didn't take this lying down, making hashtag cancel Korea the top trending topic this morning. In response, the TikToker apologized for her tattoos stating that she loves Korea. She has also promised to have the tattoos covered or removed to correct her mistakes. Although some Korean netizens express their feelings respectfully, others attack Bella Porsche with racial slurs that insulted not just her, but all the people from the Philippines. Iba for some people, they treat their bodies as their journal and tattoos as their story. So, through tattoos, do nila na-express yung mga story or feelings nila. So, there's a story behind those tattoos. Ang ibang tao naman, nagpapatato sila na hindi nila alam kung ano ang storya nito. And they're just basing it on the design, on, on how it looks like when it's in their skin or in their arm on other parts of the body and maybe there are some na hindi alam kung anong meaning talaga the true meaning of their tattoos yes yung iba naman is na influence lang di ba yes because of uh, sik dahil sa sikat na tao or nakita nila sa sikat na mga artist so regarding sa situation siguro may mali naman talaga siya kasi yung tattoo niya is parang na remind yung mga koreano sa past history nila di ba but at the same time, nag-sorry naman siya, di ba? And then, she explains already about that na na-inspire lang siya sa isang tao and then she just copied the tattoos. So, on the other side, maybe Koreans got insulted because of that tattoo and yung mga bad happenings na nangyari sa Korea. So, sa Korean side is, dapat hindi basta-basta nagsasabi ng masasakit na salita. Especially is, um, na explain siya di ba na she will remove or ikakover niya ng ganon tapos tayo naman mga Filipino so sa mga Koreans I really love Koreans especially sobrang tumitingin ako ng movies nila sobrang idol ko yung mga people don but dapat hindi naman nila hindi sila basta basta nagbibigay ng masasakit na salita tungkol don kasi nag explain na siya nag sorry so, dapat, hindi natin siya um, i-generalize. We know for a fact that Koreans are sensitive. They are sensitive. They got easily hurt. And maybe, in our in our, in our part also, as a Filipino, ganun din tayo. Yes, we kapag, are also sensitive. Mm -mm. So, kapag gen generalize ang mga 
ang mga uh, situation or Koreans generalize the Philippines that are uneducated. So, as Filipinos, we don't have, we are, we got affected also. And even some Filipinos are uneducated, but we have those uh, factors that uh, we know how to respect. We are hospitable enough to foreigners, especially Koreans, that Filipinos uh, support Korean movies, Korean K-pops, right? So, napakalaki ng influence ng Korea sa mga Pinoy. And through that, dapat chine-cherish nila yun but just for that thing. And maybe all of us commit mistake. We are not perfect, right? Yes. So, maybe in the part of the girl, she's not aware of that tattoo. So, tayo namang mga Filipino, dapat kung nag-generalize sila, dapat hindi tayo sumunod. Kasi tayo naman, sobrang sensitive natin to the point na parang sinasabi na natin na cancel Korea, parang ganun. Parang maliit na bagay lang naman yan na pwede naman natin isolve. Hindi dapat parang i-end na talaga natin yung connection natin sa Koreans. Maybe they, some of them insulted us, but some of them, nag-share lang sila ng feelings nila in a good way, hindi yung sobrang harsh. So what I love about the Filipinos is that kapag merong mga scenario or sitwasyon na mga ganito, ay to the rescue agad. So my thoughts about the situation is that kung kaya naman natin isolve yung maliliit na problema, why not to try to solve? Hindi yung dapat i-end na talaga yung connection natin. Kasi meron namang mga good Koreans, di ba, na nandito sa Philippines. Example, si Ryan Bang. Mostly nakikita ko is gusto nila cancel Korea. So it's not wrong kung yun yung freedom of speech nila, kung yun yung gusto or yun yung nararamdaman nila na ipahiwatig sa mga Koreano. Pero sana naman, in this situation, we have to understand each other. Hindi, da, hindi tayo dapat nag-aaway-aaway. Dapat nagtutulungan tayo, especially in this pandemic. I hope there's an understanding and peace of everyone. I hope lahat ng problema natin na hinaharap ay masasolve. Wala naman talagang mali na pinaglalaban natin yung kapwa natin. Pinaglalaban ng Koreans yung side nila at pinaglalaban naman natin yung side natin. Pero dapat... At this situation, dapat mas more yung understanding natin. Sa atin naman, di ba, kapag meron nag-insulto sa ating mga karanasan, uh, especially sa mga bad happenings natin noon, masakit din para sa atin kapag, kapag nakahear tayo. So, we, we want also to understand Korea about their um, their feeling also. Because if, na, if nangyari niyan sa atin, yes, probably ganun din yung i-react natin, right? And maybe it's about understanding. Um, we we don't have to cut the connection of Korea. We don't have. Uh, I mean, Koreans doesn't have to cut the connection from the Philippines because Korean gives a big influence to the Philippines, right? Especially as Filipinos, the newest generation really likes Koreans. Yes. And Koreans also, in their part, they come to the Philippines because of a good feedback, a good treasure that we have. So, there's nothing wrong. Just love. Parang Philippines yung biggest fun ng mga Koreans, if I'm not mistaken. So, dapat yun. Understanding lang talaga. We hope that this issue would not cut the, the relationship between the two countries. Yes. So, we just share our thoughts based lang to sa aming thinking sa aming nararamdaman. So, if iba yung tingin nyo sa situation, then it's yours. So, all of us has its own ideas and perception about the issue. Yes. So, if you have any questions, suggestions, and requests, just drop a comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tambien!